It is the St George Illawarra Dragons taking on the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Both teams going through a little bit of a reshuffle. South welcome back Latrell Mitchell, whereas the Dragons, who were without Adam Clune again, opt to put Ben Hunt back into the seven. Cam McInnes going back into nine. Uh, and then a bit of a change in the forwards as well as Sims comes in. Yeah. Um, it, it probably is one of the harder games to pick. The obvious choice for, for both of us is the Bunnies. Uh, buoyed by the by the return of Latrell Mitchell, it means Cody Walker gets he, gets his running buddy out the back. Um, they also get back uh, Sirenan, I believe it is, back this week. That drops Jack Johns out of the out to the reserves, but it wouldn't surprise me if he gets another run. Uh, I thought he played really well for his debut. Um, yeah, it's the Dragons. I with. We're not going to start about the dragons. We know that we know that they got screwed. It's screwed by three for it's screwed by three all. Curse the bunker. Stack the bunker. Um, <laughs> mate, I, I nearly had the three three Chelsea dagger video ready and queued up for this, but nonetheless, um, I think that it, it, having Jackson Ford is great for hustle and bustle, but they lose a lot of mobility out of McInnes going back into the nine in their forward pack. Uh, Tristan Saylor coming into the 17. It's great to see him get a game. Don't get me wrong. But it's not who I would expect when you have the likes of Corbin Sims in the 21. Uh, I'm not sure on what I'm doing for, for tips, to be honest. I'm not really confident with anyone as far as any time try scorer. The markets have got up like two minutes ago. So, Matt, I'll let you go through through that. But uh, in terms of a head-to-head, I'm going the Bunnies. Yeah, so I'm back in the Bunnies as well, even if you just look at things like the form guide. That and the Bunnies have won the last two meetings as well, the last one being 2016, the one before that being uh, 34 points to 18 in their favour. I mean, it's tough. This one's incredibly tough to split. I mean, you even look at the points. The Dragons registering 208 points. The Bunnies registering 218, the Dragons conceding 222, uh, and the Bunnies conceding 192. So it looks like even the stats call out that the Bunnies are gonna are gonna take this one, but it's gonna be this one looks like it's gonna be a fine mark. <clears throat> so I'd, I'd be tempted to look at things like um, Souths one to twelve, um, just on that one because this one's this one's not gonna be a blowout. Uh, Souths are. Still a little shaky. Um, they're still changing things in their back line and switching things up with Mitchell now going back in, Johnston going back to the wing um, and trying to figure out what their best recipe at the back is. The forwards, they get Liam Knight back, good for a, a bit of bench depth. So good to, good to see him back. Um, as for the Dragons, they, they've got Pereira back on the wing. Saab loses his spot, which... Now means that on the kicking game you've you've lost a little bit of your height there, but you saw it last week. Lomax brings the X factor every time he touches the ball. Expect him to, to really rip up on the edges. He'll be coming up against uh, Campbell Graham and, and Jackson Paulo on that far side. So yeah, I, I'd I'd expect Lomax to bag a try here just based on the run of form that he's on. Uh, but, but my biggest overall tip would be Souths one to twelve. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on Souths one to twelve. They pay three bucks, so some really good value there for me. Um, if you want to play it safe, bunnies are one fifty four on the head to head. I do like your logic about targeting Jackson Paulo. Um, I think Graham's going to be more than capable of giving Lomax a, a pretty pretty good challenge there up in the air. But every now and then he gets caught out defensively. So I like your theory, but I'm not going low max. I'm going to go Souths 1 to 12 and uh, Michaeli Ravalawa, anytime try scorer. I think he'll barge over for a try. Assuming that his knee is all right, he was looking very ginger at the back end of last week. Um, but Ravalawa, anytime try scorer at 2 bucks 20, it's hard to ignore that. Yeah, <clears throat> as you mentioned, he was he was carrying a few knocks. He was really in the wars last week. He, he wore a late shot in the ribs, 
picked up a knee injury towards the back end of the game. Yeah, he, he he'll probably be running on a fitness test. Um, but yeah, he he will. He's a tough bloke. He'll he'll likely be there. So yeah, those are those are our tips. And with that, we will move into the next game. <laughs> 